welcome back to Beauty Bee. So, if you've been around here for a while, you have probably seen me complain about this particular lipstick and how it doesn't really particularly suit me and I don't know what to do with it. And I have been telling myself for weeks, probably months actually, because this was even before I started this channel, that I'm going to do something fun and artistic and bold with it and then I didn't. So I decided today was the day to make that change. I realized that I actually have kind of a lot of purple lip purple makeup, um, which is weird because I, I mean I like purple, but I had never thought of that as a color that really dominated my collection. If anything, I would have thought that was pink because I feel like pink really flatters me. But uh, my eyeshadow collection tells me otherwise. So I'm actually just going to start with the lip to just figure out where we're going with all of this. I think this is just going to be purple everything. Purple blush, purple highlight, maybe even a sort of purple contour. I don't know. I get to take a shower like in an hour, so I don't really care if this turns out well or not. And uh, you probably know how it turned out because there's probably a picture in the thumbnail and it probably says fail <laughs> if it was really bad. Hopefully it's amusing if it's bad. Yeah, not great for my skin tone, is it? But I think it's really pretty. I think this would be gorgeous on many other people. But for me, it's been kind of a problem child. That was attractive. Okay, we're going to need to apply another coat of that in a little while because it just is a little bit patchy and uneven, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I mean, this is a very striking look as is, but I don't particularly like it. I, don't, I think it's a little bit too much of a contrast between my skin tone and my lips. For me, obviously, your mileage may vary. Now, I'm actually going to go in with this Lay Serum. I think this is the Refreshing Sake Serum. Uh, I'm not using this because it's purple, though that does certainly help. I just think this gives such a nice glow to the skin. I think you'll be able to see as I put it on. I'm going to put it on my forehead, too. Wow, glad that I messed with my bangs beforehand. That was a good plan. There's a little fly that keeps coming around. Yeah, that just gives such an even glow to my skin. I don't think it has any actual skincare benefits. I mean, I could be wrong, but I haven't noticed any change in my skin when I use it versus when I don't. But it's really pretty. Honestly, this is kind of a look just as is. Well, let's see if I can't ruin it. Um, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I didn't have purple nails going on today. I didn't think about that earlier. Um, that second coat of um, these, this Sephora lip cream on. I don't think I mentioned this, but this is the shade Black Cherry.
I can't get a super sharp lip line with that, but we'll just go with a uh, <laughs> lip line so dull it could vaguely annoy someone. <laughs> so let's actually start with some eyeshadow. I think I'm going to go in with... Uh, let me see if I can't open it. The shade from the from a Maybelline City Mini Palette in Chill Brunch Neutrals. Don't know what this is about brunch, but okay. I'm gonna go in with this particular shade. Now from past experience, I know that I need to spray this to get it to show up very well or at least stick around. This is the one use I've ever found for this Wet n Wild. Um, fixing spray. This is the natural finish one. I think they've got a matte one and maybe a dewy one too. Okay, so I'm just going to put that all over my mobile lid. And that is not showing up particularly well at all. I think I might have actually over wet that, which is a new experience for me. But I'm going to repeat this process on the other side. And I'm not going to spray this just to see if that will help, you know. I can get it too wet on this side, too dry on this side. And maybe you can sort of uh, Little Bear or Goldilocks it <laughs> on the second try. That's not really showing up very well at all, is it? Okay. Well, this time around, I am going to go in with the brush. These Wet n Wild brushes are garbage, but they are really good for putting on super unpigmented eyeshadow all over the lid. You know, if that's helpful. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the shade I have been using, which is this soft purple, but also a little bit of darker purple. And this will probably get really crazy real fast. Spritz. See what damage we can do. There we are. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about blending that yet. We can take care of that later. Eye number two, same story. And there is quite a bit of glare fallout. I don't know how well you can see that. Which isn't a big deal for me because I don't wear face makeup. And I haven't done my cheeks or anything yet. But again, your mileage may vary. I feel like that's not showing up at all right on right on the border of my eye. Interesting. Let's fix that. Okay, 
I'm going to smudge a mixture of that, the same mixture underneath my eye. Let's see. Where did I put that brush? There it is. This is going really well. I am beauty. I am grace. I'm not going to fall flat on my face. I kind of love how this is turning out so far, more than I thought I would, which is a good sign. <laughs> Hopefully this trend continues. So what I'm going to do now is go into this sort of rosy purple shade on this fluffy crease brush, and I'm going to blend out the edges of that look. I like how right now this is turning into a very, like, a rosy purple. I guess when I was envisioning this look, I saw it as a more blurple. But I think this is a lot more flattering. I think it really brings out the red in my hair. And, yeah, I can't say I would ever wear this during the day. But maybe if I was going to, like, a costume party or something, I could do this. Or really even just going out at night in general. Cause I do that, you know, <laughs> ever. I have a social life, not just now, just in general. <laughs> okay, so that's looking good. Uh, I actually filled in my brows earlier today. This is the same day as uh, the yellow eyeshadow tutorial. <laughs> I put in a headband and changed my shirt to try to hide it, but it's like six hours later. And then I just ruined that effect by telling you the truth instead of getting caught in the lie. Okay, so I think that is all the color I want to put on my eye. I am going to do some purple blush. For that, I'm just going to go into this transition shade for my Wet n Wild Purple Quad, which I feel like I've been calling Petal Pusher on this channel, probably. It's actually in the shade Petalette. I think Petal Pushers was the old shade name when it was still... Um, I can't think of it. When they still had that 10 pan or 8 pan. The old ones were 8 pans. That was purple and pink. I'm just going to get a little bit of that on this blush brush. I can always add more, but I can't subtract. So we're starting out slow. Yeah, that's, that's showing up and it looks pinky. I don't know if I just have a little bit of excess product on my brush from some earlier makeup application or if it really does sheer out that pink. Oh, we hit very tiny little baby pan. Hey, exciting. You can see me in the monitor. Great. like that at all. Shoot. <sighs> Trying to decide how I'm going to fix that. I mean, it doesn't look bad on camera at least, but in person, I'm not a big fan. Why don't I grab something that's a little bit more mauve and I will put that on top. One moment. So I'm going to wipe off all that extra color on my arm and I'm going to go into this shade, which is, let's just look for a comparison. This is much 
more of a muted shade than the purple I was using. And I have used this as a blush before, so I know that it is okay. Hopefully it'll tone this down a little bit. Can't say it did, but I'm gonna tell myself it feels better. <laughs> That's looking like not that much better, but I think there's an improvement. I think that I can continue to improve by tr strategically choosing a highlighter. I think that for my highlighter segue of the year right there, I'm going to go into this white shade that actually has quite a bit of purple or purple pink iridescence in it. And I'm going to take that on if I can't find it. There it is. I'm going to take that on this big fan brush. And I don't mind if I get a little bit of that pink on, but I don't want to get too much. I'm going to pinch it so I don't accidentally dip into that purple because I've made that mistake in the past and it was decidedly a bad look. That was an elegant way to go about. I can see the glow, can you? A little bit. I think most of what you can see is actually the uh, serum stick still. But oh well. Would I be more of a real beauty YouTuber if I made like vaguely sexual noises as I put on my highlight? Should edit that out, that's awful. <laughs> it's true, but it's awful. Same stuff. I'm gonna go in with this sort of a paddle brush that you use for, is meant to be used for foundation. Cause I just want so much glow and I don't really care if it shows up too pigmented because it's not like I'm wearing this out of the house. Oh, I do like that. I'm going to put a little bit under my brow bone. I guess on my brow bone, under my brow. like it's obvious at this, this point, but I have no respect for the intended purposes of pretty much any of my makeup and just do what I want. I'm going to put on some mascara and then I will reassess if maybe I do want some liquid liner.
feel like they did a better job hitting those outside lashes on this side than the other, so I'm just going to put a little bit more on. Okay, that's looking good. I think I will add a little bit of black liquid liner. Again, <laughs> one second. So I made the executive decision that this look does need liner. Definitely upper, maybe a little bit of lower. Um, I grabbed this Wet n Wild Make Last liner for the lower rim, should I choose to use it. I don't know if this is black or if this is black brown. Oh, if this is black brown, and then I've got this mini Kat Von D, or I'm sorry, KVD Vegan Beauty. KV Kendo Vegan something nonsense. And I'm going to use that on the upper lash line. Cat eye? Maybe a little bit. This, this is not a go big or go home at this point, right? set this down because I need to be able to hold my eyelid. Now I need to just keep my eye closed for a while because I already managed to get a little bit of, of lid transfer and I don't want that. <laughs> Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. Yes. Now for the other side. that again so I can just hold my eye. Okay, I'm liking that very much. I don't think I'm going to add the black on the bottom. I think we're good to go at this point as far as the eyes go. And let's see, is there anything else I want to add? No, I'm, I'm really digging this. I think it's really cute. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this look. Did I pull it off? Because I'm giving myself uh, like, like an A. Not quite an A+. Plus. We'll have to do that another time. Thanks again for watching. I hope you will like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I really hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye! And I forgot to say this earlier, but so thank you so much to uh, Anastasia, or Anastasia, I'm sorry, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce your name, who left me a comment uh, a few weeks ago when I had first talked about this lipstick suggesting that I look at a uh, Surratt video on Lisa Eldridge's channel where a redheaded girl uh, got a makeover using a very similar lip color. Thank you so much. It gave me so much inspiration.